They call me the coach that never punts. And we play the game of football a lot differently. You don't understand the hate I deal with. People hate us. But I'm just trying to win games. I've been asked a lot of questions about the way I think about the game of football. One of those questions is, are you the beautiful mind of football? I'm definitely not the beautiful mind of football. I'm the weird mind of football. I hope, and I hate hope, because that's not a good plan. I hope that that's your mentality. I know it is for a, some of them. He loves to play mind games with you, like a little quarterback battle one time when he was trying to decide who uh, would go out first. We played rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and a guy chose dynamite, and he said, well, that's being creative. You get to go out there, you win. Crazy, over-enthusiastic. Oh, crazy. It ain't gonna be fun if we lose. Next week, you're gonna think this week is a dang cakewalk. You understand that, Cameron? You owe us, Cameron. You understand that? Do you even believe it, though? We're brainwashed in society into thinking things are the way that they've always been, and football's no different. Well, I would describe uh, Plastic Academy as unorthodox because, uh, for one, they very seldom, if ever, punt. We've never practiced punt returns. We've never practiced punting. It's a no-brainer that you don't punt the football. To me, that's just not the way the game should be played. And if you look at the analytics nowadays, they'll tell you that too. We onside kick every time until we've gotten a substantial lead. I think the term mad scientist would be an appropriate term for Kevin. Nine, deep seven, six. We run a lot of what people would call trick plays, but we don't even call them trick plays. They're just a normal part of our offense and our routine and everything we do, almost like backyard football. He'll even tell you he's gonna run a trick play, which is what he's done to me before. He's told me the first play is gonna be a trick play and he's true to his word. When I took over in 2003, our school had never been past the final four. That wasn't good enough for me. I wanted to win state championships. To do that, we play up a couple classifications in our state, and other schools have more kids to pull a football team from, three and four times as many. So we couldn't play the same game as them and expect to have better results. So what we did, we started using analytics, and I came across a video of a college professor where he had analyzed three years of football games at every level, of, ran thousands of games through his computer, and based on all the, the data, he came up with the fact that he thought that teams shouldn't punt at all. I seen him go for it on fourth and 19 at his own five. I don't care where we're at on the field. The analytics and the numbers say, go for it on fourth down. We're definitely not afraid to do that. I think a lot of it comes down to the fact you've got to be willing to roll the dice. And Kevin is a dice roller son of a gun. I'm not the gambler. If you're doing it against the numbers, that's when you're the gambler. That's, when, that's what we are when we go to the casinos. We onside kick every time, unless we're up 21 points also plays in the way that we view possessions. It is a turnover. If you don't get it, you're giving it to the other team on the 45. If you kick it into the end zone, they get it on the 20. There's a 25 yard window that you're willing to sacrifice with a chance to get the football. We increase the total number of possessions, we're gonna score more points. There's a big debate going on as to whether the team should go for two or not go for two. And if we are better at making two than they are, we will go for two to get them to chase or have to do that. The numbers are simple. If you can make it 50% of the time or more, you go for two. He's very polarizing. Probably scored more points than they needed to at the time, and it's left a bitter taste in some opponents' uh, mouths. He's gone. It bothers me that people think that we're running up the score. Due to the way we play the game, it's gonna be that way. Yeah, it's ours. I'm not gonna let those guys tell me how to play the game if I can statistically prove that I'm right in what I'm doing. Analytics, especially the way we use it right now, this could be the future of football. As you look at the read option, you look at tempo, those started in high school, went up to college, and now are filtering and trickling into the pros somewhat. When Hunter Henry, a player here, was getting recruited, I know Nick Saban's been in here, Les Miles, Gus Malazan, Brett Bielema. He's been on the phone with Chip Kelly. I think the people that need to implement this system the most are the bottom level teams that are consistently bad in the NFL and in FBS. One of the reasons is the analytics of the game itself. 
What do they have to lose? They've been doing the same things over and over and getting the same result. Why would you not try something different? I think a lot of coaches are scared to use the system because of job security. Taking the analytical approach. Five, 10 years ago, it was a novelty. Some people are beginning to do it. A couple years ago, I watched a Moneyball movie and, and I was very intrigued by when people would use numbers against traditional thinking and the results that they got. There are some philosophies in high school football that I believe at some point will transcend to the college ranks and maybe even eventually into the professional ranks. Kevin's one of those guys, you know, when you're successful, either you like him or you, or you hate him. But the one thing everybody does, everybody respects what he's done. He believes he's the best coach in the country. I believe he is too. This program has built a foundation of change from just being a normal high school when he took over to now we're sponsored by Adidas. College coaches are here all the time. If I coached at Alabama, if I coached for the Dallas Cowboys, I'm going to run this system. Just stay safe. Hey, that's oh. good I believe that this is the right way to play the game. And if you look at the analytics nowadays, they'll tell you that too. Okay.